Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to back to my channel. Uh, today we are going to learn about MCP servers. So, and we're going to use Docker desktop to configure a simple M MCP server for our MCP client. Uh, I'll be using Claude desktop as an MCP client. So let's start with understanding what is an MCP server. So MCP server is basically a program uh, that provides an LLM capability to access tools uh, to perform certain actions on external products. For example, uh, this is the catalog of MCP servers that Docker provides us with. Uh, if you see, uh, let's look at something familiar, let's say Grafana. Uh, in Grafana, if you go under tools, you can see the, uh, the capabilities that this MCP server can provide to our client. For example, it can create an incident on Grafana. Uh, it can create an alert group. Uh, it can give you the list of current on-call users. So uh, basically, this is an MCP server that gives our LLM access to all the API calls that Grafana offers and our LLM can actually do those things on Grafana for us. So similar to Grafana, uh, we have uh, an MCP server for GitHub. And in, under tools, we have, uh, you know, tools for creating a branch, creating an issue, a pull request. So uh, in a way, uh, it is providing our LLM with a lot more capability. So for this, uh, video, what I would do is I would configure a small MCP server. Um, for context, let's say this is our Claude desktop. If I um, ask Claude, uh, what is the distance between Empire State Building and Times Square in New York? Let's say, let's see what Claude says. So as you can see right now, uh, what Claude is giving me is that it is around 0.5 miles or 0.8 kilometers, right? And it's giving me, you know, other stuff as well. But as you can see from the response, it's kind of a ballpark figure. It's kind of um, not very specific or accurate. What if I want to give uh, my Claude desktop uh, some capability, like some access to Google Maps or the Maps API so that it can actually give me the accurate answer? Let's see how we can do that with, M with MCP server. Um, so let's see. We have this MCP server for Google Maps, right? If we go ahead and try to configure it, let me delete. Uh, the API key that I had before. So uh, if you want to configure Google Maps as an MCP server for your client, you need a Google Maps API key. Now, where do we get it from? So let's go ahead and go to our Google, Google Cloud Console. So let's first create a new project. Um, for I'll name it as Google Maps Project and this is the ID that will be created for this project. Let's go ahead and create it. It's going to take some time. Okay, so now as you can see, we are inside inside our Google Maps project. Um, let's go to let's configure some APIs for our project. Okay, let's see. Okay, we can go to Google Maps platform. And as you can see, it created a new API key automatically for us, right? So let's go ahead to our Docker desktop and just paste that key here. Okay, so we configured our MCP server on Docker desktop. Now let's configure our client as well. So my client would be Claude desktop. So I'll just connect it. And it tells us to restart 
uh, Claude. So let me quit it and I started it. So now what happened is I have my server. I have put my Google Maps API key and I have my client, which is Claude desktop. And now let's issue the same prompt. What is the distance between Empire State Building and uh, Times Square in New York? Let's see what it does. As you can see, now it is using our MCP server and querying the Maps API. Let's allow it. And here you go. We have the distance that we got from the Maps API. Um, and it actually gave uh, the answer to us and it's much more concise uh, since it's it has actually uh, queried from the maps API and this is the uh, request JSON and this is the response JSON so um, yeah this is how our MCP servers work and this was a very small example of how you can configure one for your um, cloud desktop um, in fact, uh, apart from Claude desktops, we have an option for um, other clients as well. For example, VS Code, if that is the IDE that you use uh, for programming or Gemini CLI, Cursor. And if none of them exist here, you can actually do it yourself. Uh, they even provide a, a handy command to run so that you can just add it. Uh, in whatever environment you are working on. So that was all about MCP servers and uh, just, you know, have a look. It's it, it's so amazing that they have uh, these many MCP servers and uh, I'm really excited how it's going to make our life so much easy if we give these capabilities to uh, LLMs. So yeah, uh, test it out, try it out, have fun with MCP servers and let me know in the comments below uh, how it goes for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.